Here we have a question that says Mia had 385 toothpicks to build a model house. So she's using toothpicks to build a house. She used 134 toothpicks to make the roof. How many toothpicks did she have left to make the rest of the model house? All right, well, let's set this up. Um, I think what's maybe a little confusing about this question is that she's building a house, right, a little model house, out of toothpicks. Maybe there's a door and a, a window. But somehow she's able to build the roof first. And I don't know about you, but usually when I, when I construct a house, I don't start with the roof. But anyway, um, here we have toothpicks for the roof, and 134 were used. But she still has to build the rest of the house. So the question is, if she used 134 in the roof, how many are left? So here, uh, the first thing that pops in my mind is subtraction, right? Because we're trying to find what's left. And when that's the case, subtracting can be really helpful. So I'm going to walk you through several ways of doing this subtraction problem. The first one is just to stack the numbers up. So we get 385 minus and here's the key, make sure you line this up. One, three, four. All right, line up these digits here because now what we can do is subtract each like place value. So here we have five and a four. They're in the same group, they're both ones. So here you can do five minus four, and that's one. And then we have our next group, eight minus three. It's really 80 minus 30, but we can think of it as 8 minus 3, and that's just 5 or 50. And then last we have 3 minus 1, and that's really 300 minus 100, but again, you can just think of it as 3 minus 1, which is just 2. And that's our answer. There are 251 toothpicks. But maybe you want to see some other ways to subtract. So let's try another way. Um, if I stack it up again, all right, I can write 385 minus 134. But now what I can do is subtract from left to right. So I can think of um, 300 minus 100 first and write 200, right? And then I can say, well, what's 80 minus 30? Well, that's just 50. And then 5 minus 4, that's just 1. And then add these up. 200 plus 50 plus 1, which is 251. Just be careful, this, this left to right technique might not be so easy to use if the top number is smaller than the bottom number. Right? In, in this case, 3, 8, and 5 are all bigger than 1, 3, and 4, so it works nicely. Another way of thinking about it, although it's still the same, is to kind of split up these numbers, which is exactly what we're doing here, but you can think of it this way. 385, first subtract 100. And that gives you 285, right? Because we are trying to subtract 134. So first, I'm going to subtract that 100. OK, now I take that number, 285, and I subtract 30, the next number. So 285 minus 30. And there, you can check this one. You get 255. And then we want to subtract four more, because we're, sub we're subtracting 134. So now, last, I get 255 minus 4, and we get 251, which is exactly what we got before and the time before that. So our answer here is 251. She needs 251 more toothpicks to finish her model house. All right, thanks.